This is a quick video. I was showing how you can up, update like, the speed play up uh, from like, the unit itself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the, like, the unit is connected to uh, the internet. So um, if it's up to you whether you are uh, hotspot to your phone or you're, like a nearby like, network, but just like make sure bef uh, before you turn the car on, just uh, turn the Bluetooth on your like, phone off because otherwise it will try and do a wireless CarPlay or like, Android Auto and it'll uh, drop out the internet. <coughs> So basically, first thing you want to do is you want to go into all the apps, and you want to find your speed play app, and you want to click on it and drag it to the trash can. Uninstall, yes please. So that's a gone now. Then we just want to go into our Chrome, our, 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 our browser. And once we're in like a browser, we just want to go to the Vidia website. Um, so you can just search it. Click on our Vidia there. Click on the menu, and you're just looking for downloads, X series uh, downloads. This is for the uh, X series one, and just scroll to the very bottom of the page, and you're uh, looking for Speed Play 2.0.26. So it, it could be a different version. It's 2.0.26, so that uh, that last little number could change, and I'll show you where you uh, check that. So you click on download a file. Touch on it there. Click on the download up here. Now, if it says a one at the end here, we just want to take off the one, so it's just our APK at the end. Dot APK. Done. Download. I download file again because I've already done, done it. That's why it's telling me that. That's fine. Download anyway. So all that has been uh, downloaded now. So now let's go in here, go into File Browser, and it's uh, going to come up under Flash. Go down to uh, Downloads. So I click on uh, Downloads, and you can see they're there. I've downloaded two that are the same, but you can see 2.026 they are on both the same. Do you want to install this application? Install. Open it up, continue, and there you go. You can see that's the like version I number down here, 2.0.26. Um, and that's all done. So that's how you can install it straight from the head unit.